uh, in the call room I feel like I have I do have like the true anxiety it's not just excitement it's it's anxiety to see how my jumps my warm-up jumps will go but at the same time I feel this um, confidence I feel like I'm the most prepared there the belief that I am the most prepared in that room calms me down you pick up the pole and you try to set it up where you're holding it pretty high because you don't want the ball to drop too soon because that kind of makes you fall in your run. I think definitely the emotions change. I think that anxiety starts to turn into enthusiasm and I think those two emotions are very similar to each other and a lot of athletes cannot differentiate them. So they get stressed out that they're stressed out when truly they're just excited and enthusiastic about competing. Keep yourself calm because I feel like it's very easy to do what I call win warm-ups and nobody cares who won the warm-ups. To not run too fast out of the back. The only time you need speed in the pole vault is in the last two steps. Oof. <laughs> I think the first make, I, I don't think there will be a single pole there that doesn't say this, just relaxes you so much. There is a lot of relief after the first jump because now you're starting to set up for jumping high. I try very hard to know watch the other athletes. I think for, for me this is very important because a lot of my competitors will make the lower height uh, very big. It seems like they're at a jump 5'10 and how high you jump in the earlier bar doesn't really tell much about how high you will jump later. And then now the goal becomes to attack the box. For me, I can step on the runway and immediately be able to focus. I can't quite say what I feel. I can tell you what I think and I think nothing. And in fact, that's when my best performances have come. And I think this is why I do well at championships because I get into a true, you know, in the zone feeling. And I think for me, that means to think of nothing. I've pole now for over 20 years. I think my body knows what it needs to do. So I don't need to be thinking of technical details. The attack happens both by accelerating in the last two steps and with moving mostly your right hand, but I would say for me, both hands really aggressively over your head. Just let my body do what it has trained to do. It really depends on expectations, right? I think have I come into the championship wanting to win, was getting a medal my goal, have I already exceeded maybe my goal? To win, you have to come in to win. I think, okay, you can be in what I would call a bad day and get second or get third, but you have to come in to want to win. After that, all I think about is how quickly can I come upside down? I think every time I've gone in hoping to get a medal, I go third or fourth or fifth, and I think that's the most important part. You have to come in to win, and at least eight girls are coming in to win, and that's very important. It's very different than having eight girls who are coming in hoping to get on the podium, and very different to have eight girls who are coming in to win. I don't waste that split of a second. I get on top of the pole, and the pole throws me higher and suddenly you see the bar in front of you.